Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, my dear students? Today we start a new social studies lesson. Um, I would like you to open your uh, course book, page 50. This is a new lesson called Climate and Weather. So let me share my screen first. Say in the name of Allah and let's start. Yes. Here we go. So, inshallah, you come back to school soon, where we're going to see you and enjoy playing together. And do not do not forget to study the words and and be careful with your spelling. So this is page 50, and there, there is a, a very simple question. Which picture shows the climate in Saudi Arabia, and which one shows the climate in Alaska? Before we start about talking, before we, we answer, I need you to, to discuss what do we mean by the word climate? I don't know what does this mean. So the climate is uh, the weather, the, the state of the weather condition. Is it always hot? Is it mostly hot? Is it almost freezing? Uh, in one place for a long period of time. So I'm not talking about today. I'm, I'm not going to say, guys, what's the weather like today? Oh, weather. Yes. So this is the big difference between climate and weather. Climate is for longer periods. You tell me how hot, cold, windy, or what's the weather like? But for a long period of time, guys. Like today, today it was raining like uh, an hour ago. But this, that doesn't mean it's always raining. No, it doesn't rain. It rains only in winter here. So which one is the climate in Saudi? Of course, you know, it's the one with the camels because it's almost uh, desert land. It's desert land and it, usually it's hot, very hot sometimes. And in winter in Jeddah, we have... Uh, we have that uh, warm climate, warm, but uh, this is for me, but I know that for you, you say that it's really cold, maybe you're, because you got to the, the hot weather or something. And the other one is the other part. It's really cold. This is maybe in the North Pole or South Pole or something. How do you know? Because here I saw, I see snow. It's icy. So this is the answer to the question. And here we say that um, a very long time ago, people started to notice that some places are hot, some places are cold. They know that in some certain days, it is really hot. In other days, it's really cold. What controls, what controls this part? We studied last week that the equator, the equator is there so that it tells you how hot and cold places are. Once you get closer, it gets hotter. Once you get further, you move, it gets colder. So this is what the page say. Okay. So let's move to page 51. Oh, I would like you to look at the picture and tell me what's the weather like. Some people say, how do I know? No, you know. Look at these two young boys. Look at their clothes. What are they wearing? And you know what's the weather like. Can I say that it's really hot? I will never say so. Because they are wearing jackets and they're wearing like somehow, somehow some sets of clothes that shows that it's somehow cold. So here we're talking about our lovely country. Uh, maybe we can talk about the United Arab Emirates or some of some of the other countries that are around our home country here, Saudi. And we say that they are really hot. Do you have a reason? Yes. What's the reason why Saudi is hot, guys? Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much. Because it's close to the equator. While some other countries, which is far away from the equator, like Canada. Yes. Thank you so much. It's really cold like those boys in this in this picture because they are far from the equator 
So they need to wear like more clothes items so that they keep them the, their bodies poor. Now we go to page 52. Here, what's the weather like? Yes, it's it may be warm, maybe hot. I see some desert, I guess that's desert. So this is what the picture tell, tells me. And here we're differentiating between the word climate and weather. We differ, we just said this as an answer in the beginning of the video. And we knew that climate as they write is the overall weather in one place over a longer period of time. This is the main cause, this is the main difference for a longer period of time. So when I say, when I say Saudi has a hot climate, that means it's not today. It's not only today and tomorrow. It's not only for the coming three days, because this is really the weather. So that, oh, today it's, it's really hot. What's 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 really hot? The weather today, because maybe you're in a different country and it is hot today, but tomorrow it's but for for three days it's hot, but most of the year is cold. So that's really the difference between weather and climate. Now, I would like you to tell me, when does the weather change? Weather, weather, that means for a very short period of time, it can change in, from one hour to another. And um, I guess that most of you travel, then you need, sometimes you, you stay in a place and the, the sun is there and suddenly it rains and it's windy and it's stormy. Yeah, of course. And we hear and we see on the news uh some countries like this right okay so here you can see some different patterns of weather sometimes it's sunny when the sun is full sometimes there are some clouds so i say it's cloudy sometimes i have rain sometimes i have storms sometimes i have thunder lightning and those arrows in the the, the bottom of the slide is to show how hot and cold things are. So I hope that now you know how to differentiate between the word weather and climate, and you know, we, we already know why a country is cold, why a country is hot. Uh, we have um, we have a few uh, pieces of information about the different weather uh, conditions. Some, as we said, sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's windy, and so on. Thank you so much and good luck, my friends. Uh, uh, this is the um, this is what we have already spoken about. Here we say rainy, sunny, cloudy, windy to speak about weather because there are different weather conditions. And they say also that it weather can change from one hour to another, change from one day to another. And of course, we have different weather conditions in different seasons. We, how many seasons do we have, guys? We have four. Summer, winter, spring, autumn, or fall. And we we know that um, uh, people say that it's in spring the that the it's really amazing condition weather conditions. But we later on we found that it's there are like uh, wind and dust and some other stuff. Some people don't like summer because it's really, really hot. I don't like summer. I like winter because it's really cold. Uh, I like cold weather. I know that you don't like uh, winter, but anyway, I respect your choice. Uh, then we come to this page, which is uh, exercise one, look at the weather forecast below and complete the sentences using words from the box. We have different weather conditions according to the day. So on Monday, I guess, can you see? It's rainy, but in Tuesday it's sunny. Uh, in uh, in Thursday it's cloudy somehow, and on Wednesday on Thursday it's cloudy. On Wednesday it's snowy because I see some snow marks, and here I guess this is this is windy. All those words are adjectives, guys. They come from the nouns. So if you have too much sun, then it's sun. If you have too many clouds, then it's cloudy. If you have too much rain, then it's rain. When you have too much wind, this is windy. And snow, snowy. Uh, here, I would like you to answer this. I'm not going to answer this now in the video, 
but it's answered on the PPT, which is on the drive. Thank you so much, guys, and good luck. Bye-bye.